This is not a fairy tale. Or is it? <laughs> For hundreds of years, only the most unfortunate are summoned to the tower, ready to take on the voice and her dark magical forces. There are tricks and challenges on every floor, and someone not to be trusted. Only one will escape with the key of freedom, and the rest... You're trapped! Kids in Cage Shocker! Bobbincraft arrived! Crank em up, says Caretaker! Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Here they come! This lot are from Pontypool! That's Sam! He's rude to lollipop ladies! There's Leah, she used to be a luxury yogurt! Joel is a baggage handler at Luton Airport! Caitlin, stunt double to the stars. Ewan invented the word bamboozle. And Kenneth, world thumb wrestling champion 2000 and 3000. <laughs> like all those before them, they'll be imprisoned at the top of the tower. They must work as a team to complete challenges and escape each floor. But one of them cannot be trusted, the Saboteur! Only one will leave with the key of freedom, and the rest... That's right. Trapped! <laughs> On each floor, a new Saboteur will be chosen. It's up to you to uncover who it is. Remember everything you see as you journey through the tower. You may need it to win the key of freedom. Not all of you will get that far. Some of you will be staying here a very long time. Told you! Floor six. Mutternaut's Tales. Line up! Shut your noise holes. We're off to the tower library. A place for everything and everything in its place. Miss Mutternot is not happy. <coughs> the tower library is completely confuddled. Unfortunates must carefully put the books back in their rightful place, but the tower is prone to power cuts and someone is trying to upset the librarian. <coughs> One of them cannot be trusted. But who will it be? Leah, do not react. You are the saboteur. You're the only one who can hear my voice. When the lights go out, it will be pitch black. This is your chance to cause chaos and ensure your team fail this challenge. I will guide you through your whisper clip. <laughs> the saboteur is Leah, but will she fum, blow her cover? Unfortunate. To pass, you must have all the books in place at the end of 90 seconds. Let the challenge begin now! Okay, Leah, start by helping the team. Leah, they'll be looking for any strange behavior. Blend in. Keep going. There's a power cut coming. Think about where to stand. Here it comes. Three, two, one, now! <coughs> Quickly, knock over the books. No, not the ones in front of you. You don't want them to think it's you. Okay, back to helping the team. Stand by. Another power cut's coming. Think about which books to knock. You don't want to look suspicious. Here it comes. Three, two, one. <laughs> now, in front of someone else. Go on. That's not enough. The lights are coming back on. There's another power cut coming. Make the most of it. You must do more. Three, two, one. Okay, go. Oh, not the ones in front of you again! Somewhere else! That's better! But don't move! Oh my God. There are no more power cuts! It's all down to you! You must try to stop them or you'll be trapped! Leah! Do something!
something to stop them. No! no! Oh, Your time is up. You have failed miserably. Oh dear, bad luck team. <laughs> You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Sam, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Joe, because he kept moving it when he was um, knocking the box over. Leah. I thought the saboteur was Joe, because every time um, the blackout went, when it come back on, he was in a different position. Joel. I think um, the saboteur was Leah, because I hear books fall over next to her. Caitlin. I think the saboteur was Joel because wherever, wherever he was standing, there was books that had fallen over. Ewan. I think the saboteur was Leah because whenever there was a power cut, she was stuck quite near to me and I had a bunch of books that had fallen over and I think she was trying to blame me for it. Karis, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Joel because when the power cuts came on, um, he kept moving positions. You have voted for Joel. I can now reveal the saboteur was in fact Leah. <laughs> you were the saboteur. You were very sneaky. Joel, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Oh, brilliant sabotage skills. Joel, any last words? I'm gutted that I'm, I'm trapped on the sixth floor and I'm going to miss playing football. Poor unfortunate Joel. You're trapped. It's all been a fix. They thought it was him. Now he's trapped on floor six. Floor five. The frozen princess. This lass could freeze the toenails off a polar bear. There once was a princess, cold-hearted and mean. Frozen inside and out, waking up and she'll scream. To warm her sub-zero heart, unfortunates must gently place five flowers one by one into her chilly blue hands. Sounds easy, eh? But someone's out to upset her. <sighs> but who will it be? Karis, do not react. You are the saboteur. Whenever you, and only you, say the word princess, the frozen princess will awaken and throw away her flowers. Careful how you use this information. I will guide you through your whisper clip. <laughs> so, Keris is the next saboteur. Only she and we know who it is. The others are clueless. But for how long? Unfortunate. To pass, you must have five flowers in the princess's hands at the end of 90 seconds. Let the challenge begin now! So, 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 so. Okay, Karis, remember, the trigger word is princess. 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 <laughs> Very obvious. Next time, think carefully about how you use the trigger word. Use it in a sentence. Try a blue next time, guys, if this doesn't work. They think it's the colours. Go with it. Very good. Because he's frozen, white. She likes it. That's she likes it. Put it in. I don't want to put it in. I'll do it then. Place it carefully so you look like one of the team. Careful, Karis. So, uh, right. She likes it. Right. Right. Good. But Sam's flower is number four. They're getting close. Why? Right because she's a frozen princess. <laughs> well 
Well done, Karis. It's pretty sabotage. Yeah, it might be white because. Yeah. Which one's your favorite? Oh, how about pink? I got yeah, blue one. They're still talking about the colors, and time is running out. Yeah, no more whites. Quickly, quickly. Don't hurry. You sound like one of the team. Two, Come on, one. quickly. Your time is up. You have failed miserably. Never mind. Oh, oh, superb sabotage technique. You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Leah, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was you, and because every time we went to pick a flower, he would say, "Well, but we try this other flower." Caitlin. I think the saboteur was Ewan because um, whenever we chose a flower, he would choose a different one. Ewan. I think the saboteur was Leah because she was trying to control which flowers we picked. Caris. I think the saboteur was Ewan because he was always arguing with us of which flower to choose. Sam. Who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Ewan because he kept trying to control what flower we picked. You have voted for Ewan. I can now reveal the saboteur was in fact. Carries. <laughs> you were sneaky. I know. Ewan, you will not be leaving this room. The others could still win the key of freedom and are free to pass to the next floor. Oh! Turn up like a kipper! <laughs> Ewan, any last words? I feel quite disappointed. I think I tried to take too much control of the game and that's why they thought I was the saboteur. Poor unfortunate Ewan. You're trapped. Ever after! <laughs> Poor little Ewan. He didn't survive. Bust him around! Now he's trapped on floor five. Floor four? The wolf and the nut. Hey, have you seen our Scarlet? She's so pretty. Ooh, pretty annoying. There once was a wolf hunter called Scarlet. One terrible day, a wolf ate her granny. And she said, I'm going to find that wolf and cut off his head. But first I need to get some sleep. But sleep she could not, because the bed was riddled with scrumble nuts. Unfortunate must find the nuts between the mattresses on her bed. They must choose carefully, because lurking within is an angry child-eating wolf. Find the wolf three times, and they fail. Remember, one of them is not to be trusted. But who is it? Caitlin, do not react. You are the saboteur. Each time I will tell you what part of the bed the wolf is in. It's up to you to guide your team towards it. But be careful. You don't want to be detected. I will guide you through your whisper clip. Ho oh, ho! The saboteur is Caitlin, but can she remain undetected? Unfortunate to pass. You must find three scrumble nuts. Let the challenge begin! Now! So guys, you know what to do. Top, middle, or bottom? What do you think? Okay, Caitlin. The wolf is in the middle of the bed. Should we go for the middle first? Yeah, let's try. Yeah, middle, let's go. Perfect! Go on, go on. What's it to be? Middle. And who's gonna do it? Leah. Okay, Leah. Place your hand into the mattress and get me a scramble mat. And you didn't have to say a thing. All the way in. Here he comes. <laughs> Where's my scramble nut? Stop me. Okay, I'll give you another chance. Come to the other side. That's one to you, Caitlin. But you still need two more. This time, he's in the top of the bed. You know what to do. Top, middle, or bottom? Which one? I don't know. I don't think it might be middle again. Top? Yes. Okay, Let's try top then. Come on. Are you sure? Yeah, top. Okay. I can't believe they're choosing the wrong ones. Unlucky. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh, that's quite gross. That's twice now. You have to find me a scramble at the next go, or that's it. You got it? Yes. yes. Good. Let's go to the next side. You just need one more, and they fail. What's it going to be? Top, middle, or bottom? I don't think this time, the wolf is in the middle. Got top and I think middle. we should try bottom, because we haven't bottom. bottom yet. Yeah, but everyone that we haven't tried. Speak up, Caitlin. You look suspicious. You could still be found out. I think we should do maybe middle. Good. I think middle as well. No, oh, because we haven't tried bottom. Really. Come on, which one? Middle or bottom? I think middle. I think middle. They've gone for it. So what's it to be, guys? Middle. Middle. Middle? middle? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Off you go. <laughs> bite, bite, bite. <laughs> Now I'm never gonna get any sleep! Unfortunate! You have failed! Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. What are you lot has to go? Unfortunate. You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Caitlin, who did you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Karis, because she was persuading us to try and pick the wolf. Caris. I think the saboteur was Caitlin because she was a bit quiet. Sam. I think the saboteur was Caris because she always picked the wolf. Leah. Who did you think the saboteur was? I thought the saboteur was Caitlin because she looked a bit suspicious. You have voted for Caitlin and Caris. Oh, I love it when they can't decide. Bring on the draw straws! Whoever draws the short straw will be trapped. Caitlin, you have drawn the short straw, and therefore, you are the unlucky one. <laughs> I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact, Caitlin. Caitlin, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. <laughs> Caitlin, any last words? Well, I'm upset that I'm trapped, but um, can someone feed my pets for me? Poor unfortunate Caitlin. You're trapped. <laughs> Poor little Caitlin had to draw straws. Well, she picked the wrong one, so she's trapped on floor four. Ooh. What? Oh, hello, Scarlet. You can't sleep. Well, I'm not surprised with a wolf in your dozing quarters. Hey, why not just try counting sheep? But make sure the wolf doesn't eat them all. <laughs> okay, bye. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. <laughs> Joel is trapped on floor six. Ewan is trapped on floor five. And poor little Caitlin is trapped on floor four. Floor three. A child for tea. Uh-uh-uh, not for me. I'm on a diet. There once was a lady, so kindly was she, that children were always invited for tea. Cooey! She may seem all smiley and nice, but beware, this old granny is far from it. Come on in, dear. Take a seat. You're just in time to try my treats. Fatten them up she might, but unfortunates beware. They must eat three good sweets. Eating three bad sweets spells disaster. And one of them cannot be trusted. <laughs> so who will it be? Leah, do not react. It's you again. I will tell you which of the granny's sweets are bad. It is up to you how you use this information. Be careful, you don't want to be detected. I will guide you through your whisper clip. Oh, Leah got away with it last time. Can she do it again? Unfortunate. To pass, you must find three good sweets. Let that challenge begin. 
now! Oh, aren't you wonderful? <laughs> you look like butter wouldn't it melt in your mouth. <laughs> Leah, this granny is not to be trusted. Might do if we turn up the stove. <laughs> right, let's see what we've got over here. Sam and Keris will be looking for any bossy behavior. So you'll have to be very, very sneaky. Now all you have to do is pick the good one. The good sweet is on the green plate. Do not let them eat that one. Don't think the mouse. No, that's not. Because it looks like it looks like salt on top of it. It doesn't matter which one they go for, as long as it's not green. Isn't there a plate? Yeah. Who's gonna eat it? What's the cat got <laughs> your tongue? <laughs> eat it, Karis. Okay, this one. You take a nice juicy okay. bite then. Well done, Leah. Very manipulative. That's one to you. Oh, well, you could get it all in it. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, dear, dear, what a spatata taste. <laughs> dear, oh, lovely. No. <laughs> Remember, you still need two more. <laughs> Very good start. Now think about your next move. Oh. Here's another three for you to try. This time, the good sweet is on the blue plate. What should you say? <clears throat> don't let Granny put you off. I don't think the one with letters on. No. Between red, and, between red and blue. What do you think? What do you um, think, Sam? It's either blue or red. Yeah. Shall we try? What are you going to do? The blue? Yeah, go on then. I hope you know what you're doing. This'll make it one all. Go on, don't be shy. <laughs> Is it nice? Mm. Ah, you're well done. That's a super Did dipper. You You've got one. <laughs> Granny will not be happy with that. <laughs> Remember, you still need to find two more bad sweets. This time, the good sweet is on the red plate. Uh, the ones that don't look nice might be nice. Yeah, I think because those two's got like those flaky things on top. Maybe that one's the bad one because it has the least flaky things. What does Sam think? So I think it might be between them. <laughs> Sam, <laughs> Sam think? thinks. I don't think it's it's green because it looks a bit disgusting. Yeah, because it, yeah, because of because of the. <laughs> <Here we laughs> <guess. you. laughs> Which one? Ooh, the big button. Go <laughs> Good work. This will be true to you, and it looked like Sam's idea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. It's not over yet. Yeah, oh. <laughs> oh. Never mind. Oh. Okay, Sam. Oh. You like oh. Sam? Okay, concentrate, Leah. They only need one more bad sweet and they fail. The good sweet is on the blue plate. That one looks all right. Yeah, it does I, I was thinking not that one, because if you just see it's like sparkling like salt. <laughs> yeah. It's either the, the green or blue. Yeah, I think green or blue as well. What do you think? It yeah. looks horrible. Not the blue one. But it might be nice. Though. Frame one of them. You pick. I you pick, pick them. Blue, I pick them. No. Let's pick one. Can I the green one? Yes, grab it. Who's trying it? I don't know. Oh, I'm scared. So. And Karis picked it. How sly and sneaky you are, Leah. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Unfortunate. You have failed. Oh, seriously sneaky sabotage. You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Karis, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Sam because he was really quiet. Sam. I think the saboteur was Karis because she led us to the bad ones. Leah, who do you think the saboteur was? I thought the saboteur was Sam because every sweet he chose was wrong. You have voted for Sam. I can now reveal the saboteur was in fact... Leah. Sam, you will not be leaving this room. Leah and Keris will go head to head in the fight for freedom. Oh, framed good and proper. Sam, any last words? At least I'm stuck in a room full of sweets. Poor unfortunate Sam. You're trapped. Ever after! <laughs> oh.
Poor little Sam joins Granny for tea. But what is for dinner? Now he's trapped on floor three. Floor two. Fight for freedom. Oh, this is it. I'm so excited. I can bake a bogey. Unfortunate. This is your only chance to win the key of freedom and escape. I will ask you questions about your time in the tower. Get it right, and you take one step closer to the key. Get it wrong, and your opponent takes the step. It's a race to the key, and there can only be one winner. Leah, your first question. How many power cuts were there during Muttonoth's Tales? Five. Incorrect. Three. Keris, take Leah's step towards the key. Keris, your first question. How many times did you awaken the Frozen Princess? Twice. Correct. It was twice. Keris, take a step towards the key. Leah, what color was Granny's hair on floor three? Black. Incorrect. White. Keris, take Leah's step towards the key. Keris, the key of freedom is within your grasp. Answer correctly and you will win your freedom. Get it wrong and Leah is still in with a chance. What was the name of the librarian on floor six? Time up! It was Miss Mutternut. Leah, take Keris' step towards the key. Leah, answer this question incorrectly and you will be trapped. What shape is the bed on floor four? Rectangle. Incorrect. Hexagonal. Keris, congratulations. You have won the key of freedom. Take it. Poor, unfortunate Leah. You're trapped! Keris, you have won your freedom. Take the key and leave the tower before I change my mind. Poor little Leah. Missed out on the key. Keris escaped. And now she's free. Bye! <sighs> So, Keris is free ever after. And so are you. For now. <laughs> You take a nice juicy bite then. Well done, Leah. Very manipulative. That's one to you. Oh, you could get it all in the... Oh! 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 Dear, dear, what does for that to taste? Dear, lovely. Remember, you still need two more. Very good start. Now think about your next move. Oh, here's another three for you to try. This time, the good sweet is on the blue plate. Shouldn't you say? <clears throat> don't let Granny put you off. I don't think the one with letters on. No. Between red, and, between red and blue. What do you think? What do you um, think, Sam? It's either blue or red. Yeah. Shall we try? What are you going to do? The blue? Yeah, go on then. I hope you know what you're doing. This'll make it one all. Go on, don't be shy. <laughs> Is it nice? Mm. Ah, you're well done. That's a super Pretty dipper. Good. You've got one. <laughs> Granny will not be happy with that. <laughs> Remember, you still need to find two more bad sweets. This time, the good sweet is on the red plate. Uh, the one that don't look nice might be nice. Yeah, I think because those two's got like those flaky things on top. Maybe that one's the bad one because it has the least flaky things. What does Sam think? So I think it might be between them. <laughs> Sam, Sam think? thinks. I don't think it's green because it looks a bit 
Disgusting. Yeah, because it, yeah, because of, because of the... <laughs> <Yes. after you. laughs> Which one? Ooh! The big button. <laughs> Good work. This will be true to you. And it looked like Sam's idea. <laughs> oh. 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 It's not over yet. Yeah, <laughs> oh. Never mind. Oh. Okay, Sam. Oh. You like Sam? Oh. Okay, concentrate, Leah. They only need one more bad sweet and they fail. The good sweet is on the blue plate. That one looks all right. Yeah, it does I, I was thinking not that one, because if you just see it's like sparkling like salt. <laughs> yeah. It's either the, the green or blue. Yeah, I think green or blue as well. What do you think? It yeah. looks horrible. Not the blue one. But it might be nice. Frame one of them. You pick. I picked them. I picked them. Let's pick them, Kara. The green one. Yes, grab it. Who's trying it? Okay. Oh, I'm scared. And Karis picked it. How sly and sneaky you are, Leah. Unfortunate. You have failed. Oh, seriously sneaky sabotage. You must now vote for who you think the saboteur. The blue? Yeah, go on then. I hope you know what you're doing. This'll make it one all. Go on, don't be shy. <laughs> Is it nice? Ooh. Ah, you're well done. That's a super duper. You've got one. <laughs> Granny will not be happy with that. <laughs> Remember, you still need to find two more bad sweets. This time, the good sweet is on the red plate. Uh, the ones that don't look nice might be nice. Yeah, I think because those two's got like those flaky things on top. Maybe that one's the bad one because it has the least flaky things. What does Sam think? So I think it might be between Fun. them. <laughs> Sam, <laughs> Sam think? thinks. I don't think because it looks a bit disgusting. Yeah, because it, yeah, because, on, of, <laughs> because of the. Here we go. Which one? Ooh, the big button. <laughs> Good work. This will be true to you. And it looked like Sam's idea. <laughs> oh. 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 It's not over yet. Yeah, oh. <laughs> oh. Never mind. Oh. Okay, Sam. Oh. You like Sam? Oh. Okay, concentrate, Leah. They only need one more bad sweet and they fail. The good sweet is on the blue plate. That one looks all right. Yeah, it does I, I was thinking not that one, because if you just see it's like sparkling like salt. <laughs> yeah. It's either the, the green or blue. Yeah, I think green or blue as well. What do you think? It yeah. looks horrible. Not the blue one. But it might be nice. Frame one of them. You pick. You I pick, pick them. Them. I've picked them. Yeah. Let's pick one, Kara. The green one. Yes, grab it. Who's trying it? Okay, oh, I'm scared. So. And Karis picked it. How sly and sneaky you are, Leah. <laughs> you, you are so unfortunate. You have failed. Oh, seriously sneaky sabotage. You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Karis, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Sam because he was really quiet. Sam. I think this after was Karis, because she led us to the bad ones. Leah, who do you think the saboteur was? I thought the saboteur was Sam, because every sweet he chose was wrong. You have voted for Sam. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact... Leah. Sam, you will not be leaving this room. Leah and Keris will go head to head in the fight for freedom. Oh, framed good and proper. Sam, any last word? Room. Leah and Keris will go head to head in the fight for freedom. Oh, framed good and proper. <laughs> Last words. At least I'm stuck in a room full of sweets. Poor unfortunate Sam. You're trapped. Ever after. <laughs> Poor little Sam joins Granny for tea. But what is for dinner? Now he's trapped on floor three. 
floor to fight for freedom. Oh, this is it. I'm so excited. I can bake a bogey. Unfortunate. This is your only chance to win the key of freedom and escape. I will ask you questions about your time in the tower. Get it right, and you take one step closer to the key. Get it wrong, and your opponent takes the step. It's a race to the key, and there can only be one winner. Leah, your first question. How many power cuts were there during Muttonoth's Tales? Five. Incorrect. Three. Keris. Take Leah's step towards the key. Keris, your first question. How many times did you awaken the Frozen Princess? Twice. Correct. It was twice. Keris, take a step towards the key. Leah, what color was Granny's hair on floor three? Black. Incorrect. White. Keris, take Leah's step towards the key. Keris, the key of freedom is within your grasp. Answer correctly and you will win your freedom. Get it wrong and Leah is still in with a chance. What was the name of the librarian on floor six? Time up! It was Miss Mutternut. Leah, take Keris' step towards the key. Leah, answer this question incorrectly and you will be trapped. What shape is the bed on floor four? Rectangle. Incorrect. Hexagonal. Keris, congratulations. You have won the key of freedom. Take it. Poor, unfortunate Leah. You're trapped! Keris, you have won your freedom. Take the... Sam, any last words? You so set a room full of sweets. Poor, unfortunate Sam. You're trapped. Ever after! <laughs> Poor little Sam joins Granny for tea, but what is for dinner? Now he's trapped on floor three. Floor two. Fight for freedom. Oh, this is it. I'm so excited. I can bake a bogey. Unfortunate. This is your only chance to win the key of freedom and escape. I will ask you questions about your time in the tower. Get it right, and you take one step closer to the key. Get it wrong, and your opponent takes the step. It's a race to the key, and there can only be one winner. Leah, your first question. How many power cuts were there during Muttonoth's Tales? Five. Incorrect. Three. Keris. Take Leah's step towards the key. Keris, your first question. How many times did you awaken the Frozen Princess? Twice. Correct. It was twice. Keris, take a step towards the key. Leah, what color was Granny's hair on floor three? Black. Incorrect. White. Keris, take Leah's step towards the key. Keris, the key of freedom is within your grasp. Answer correctly and you will win your freedom. Get it wrong and Leah is still in with a chance. What was the name of the librarian on floor six? Time up! It was Miss Mutternut. Leah, take Keris' step towards the key. Leah, answer this question incorrectly and you will be trapped. What shape is the bed on floor four? Rectangle. Incorrect. Hexagonal. Keris, congratulations. You have won the key of freedom. Take it. 
poor unfortunate Leah. You're trapped! Keris, you have won your freedom. Take the key and leave the tower before I change my mind. Poor little Leah missed out on the key. Keris escaped, and now she's free. The power cut coming. Think about where to stand. Here it comes. Three, two, one, now! Quickly, knock over the box. No, not the ones in front of you. You don't want them to think it's you. Okay, back to helping the team. Stand by. Another power cut's coming. Think about which books to knock. You don't want to look suspicious. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Now, in front of someone else. Go on. That's not enough. The lights are coming back on. There's another power cut coming. Make the most of it. You must do more. Three, two, one. Okay, go. Oh, not the ones in front of you again! Somewhere else! That's better! But don't move! Oh my God. Oh, there are no more power cuts! It's all down to you! You must try to stop them or you'll be trapped! Oh Leah! Do something to stop them! No! Oh Your time is up! You have failed! Miserably! Oh no. Oh dear, bad luck team. <laughs> you must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Sam, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Joe, because he kept moving it when he was um, knocking the box over. Leah. I thought the saboteur was Joe because every time um, the blackout went, when it come back on, he was in a different position. Joel. I think um, the saboteur was Leah. Because I hear books fall over next to her. Caitlin. I think the saboteur was Joel because wherever, wherever he was standing, there was books that had fallen over. Ewan. I think the saboteur was Leah because whenever there was a power cut, she was stuck quite near to me and I had a bunch of books that had fallen over and I think she was trying to blame me for it. Karis. Who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Joel, because when the power cuts came on, um, he kept moving positions. You have voted for... Joel. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact... Leah. <laughs> you were the saboteur. You were very sneaky. Joel, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Oh, brilliant sabotage skills. Unfortunate. To pass, you must have all the books in place at the end of 90 seconds. Let the challenge begin now! Okay, Leah, start by helping the team. Leah, they'll be looking for any strange behavior. Blend in. Keep going. There's a power cut coming. Think about where to stand. Here it comes. Three, two, one, now! Quickly, knock over the box. No, not the ones in front of you. You don't want them to think it's you. Okay, back to helping the team. Stand by, another power cut's coming. Think about which books to knock. You don't want to look suspicious. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Now, in front of someone else. Go on. That's not enough. The lights are coming back on. Oh God, There's another power cut coming. Make the most of it. You must do more. Three, two, one. Okay, go. Oh, not the ones in front of you again. Somewhere else. That's better. But don't move. Oh my God. There are no more power.
Shortcuts. It's all down to you. You must try to stop them or you'll be trapped. Leah, do something to stop them. No, no. Your time is up. You have failed miserably. Oh dear, bad luck team. <laughs> You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Sam, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Joe, because he kept moving it when he was um, knocking the box over. Leah. I thought the saboteur was Joe, because every time um, the blackout went, when it come back on, he was in a different position. Joel. I think um, the saboteur was Leah, because I hear books fall over next to her. Caitlin. I think the saboteur was Joel because wherever, wherever he was standing, there was books that had fallen over. Ewan. I think the saboteur was Leah because whenever there was a power cut, she was stuck quite near to me and I had a bunch of books that had fallen over and I think she was trying to blame me for it. Karis, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Joel because when the power cuts came on, um, he kept moving positions. You have voted for Joel. I can now reveal the saboteur was in fact. Adam. What do you think? Okay, Caitlin. The wolf is in the middle of the bed. Should we go for the dolphin? Yeah, let's try. Yeah, the middle. Let's go. Perfect. Go on, go on. What's it to be? Middle. And who's going to do it? Leah. Okay, Leah. Place your hand into the mattress and get me a scramble mat. And you didn't have to say a thing. All the way in. Here he comes. <laughs> Where's my scramble nut? Stop me. Okay, I'll give you another chance. Come to the other side. That's one to you, Caitlin. But you still need two more. This time, he's in the top of the bed. You know what to do. Top, middle, or bottom? What's wrong? I don't know. I don't think it might be middle again. Top? Yes. Let's try top then. Come on. Are you sure? Yeah, top. Okay. I can't believe they're choosing the wrong ones. Unlucky. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that is quite gross. <laughs> that's twice now. You have to find me a scramble nut the next go, or that's it. You got it? Yeah. Yes. Good. Let's go to the next side. You just need one more, and they fail. What's it going to be? Top, middle, or bottom? I don't think this time, the wolf is in the middle. Got top and I think middle. we should try bottom, because we haven't bottom. bottom yet. Yeah, but every one that we haven't tried. Speak up, Caitlin. You look suspicious. You could still be found out. I think we should do maybe middle. Good. I think middle as well. No, because we haven't tried bottom. Really. Come on, which one? Middle or bottom? I think middle. I think middle. They've gone for it. So what's it to be, guys? Middle. Middle. Middle? middle? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Off you go. <laughs> bite, bite, bite. Takes a lot. Now I'm never going to get any sleep. Unfortunate. You have failed. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. What are you lot asked to go? Unfortunate. You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Caitlin, who did you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Karis, because she was persuading us to try and pick the wolf. Karis. I think the saboteur was Caitlin because she was a bit quiet. Sam. I think the saboteur was Karis because she always picked the wolf. Leah. Who did you think the saboteur was? I thought the saboteur was Caitlin because she looked a bit suspicious. You have voted for Caitlin and Karis. Oh, I love it when they can't decide. Bring on the draw straws! Whoever draws the short straw will be trapped.